In this video, we're going to talk about another disease modifying anti rheumatic agent by the name of hydroxychloroquine, also known as Plaquenil. Hydroxychloroquine is an old anti malarial agent that has immunomodulatory effects and it's widely used in systemic lupus erythematosus, SLE. Here, it decreases mortality and the likelihood of developing lupus nephritis, a very common complication of SLE. Hydroxychloroquine works by inhibiting the processing effects of peptide antigens and their assembly into major histocompatibility complexes by antigen-presenting cells. Normally, when peptides are processed, they will activate T cells to mount an adaptive immune response, including antibody production to that antigen. So you can imagine in SLE, for example, you have self antigens that are being processed by antigen presenting cells. Hydroxychloroquine helps inhibit this process and so inhibit the formation of autoantibodies. Hydroxychloroquine also inhibits the synthesis of inflammatory cytokines, TNF-alpha and interleukin-1b, and gamma interferon, thus suppressing the immune system. Hydroxychloroquine is used in rheumatoid arthritis, juvenile inflammatory arthritis, and systemic lupus erythematosus. Hydroxychloroquine is also safe to use in pregnancy. Side effects of hydroxychloroquine include retinopathy and macular papular rashes. Aside from nausea and vomiting, side effects of hydroxychloroquine include retinopathy and macular papular rashes. Hyperpigmentation in photoexposed areas due to increased binding to melanin containing cells can occur. Rare complications include cardiomyopathy. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video on hydroxychloroquine, a disease modifying anti rheumatic drug used as first line in systemic lupus erythematosus.